I'd like to walk you through a demonstration of scanning the carotid artery for CIMT. One of the things that's really important is to position yourself as well as the patient comfortably. I like to scan from the patient's head, but many people like to scan coming from the foot. So when you're scanning from the patient's head, you want to position the height of the table so that it's comfortable and you're not holding your arms up uh, in an uncomfortable manner. You want to have the patient line with their head turned away from you. So whichever side you're scanning, have the patient turn their head away. So we like to start this exam with a transverse orientation. You want to start low in the neck with the orientation marker facing toward the patient's back down toward the bed. Scan up the neck in a transverse orientation. The vessel should be nice and round and you'll be able to see the carotid artery, the thyroid gland, and oftentimes you'll be able to see the jugular vein. Continue to scan up the neck in a transverse manner and when you start to see the vessel get wide, then you know you're in the bulb and you want to continue through scanning to see the internal and the external carotid artery. You want to scan the patient from three different angles. You want to scan from the anterior aspect of the neck. It's roughly 2 o'clock. Then from the lateral aspect of the neck, that's probably about 4 o'clock. And then from a posterior aspect of the neck, which is probably about 5 o'clock. Three angles, anterior, lateral, and posterior. Then you want to turn the patient's head so that it's facing in the other direction, and you want to perform the same exam from the opposite side of the neck. Now, when you're scanning from the opposite side of the neck, the orientation marker stays the same way it was from the opposite direction. And you want to scan up again, transverse manner, Artery should be nice and round. And again, you're looking for the widening of the artery wall to let you know that you're at the bulb. Scan through the bifurcation of the internal and external carotid artery. And you want to turn the transducer to a longitudinal orientation. Again, with the orientation marker pointing toward the patient's head. And on this side, again, you want to come from three angles from the anterior approach, roughly 2 o'clock, from the lateral approach, about 4 o'clock, and from a posterior approach, about 5 o'clock. So in summary, the carotid CIMT exam is a bilateral exam. You want to be sure to evaluate both sides of the patient's neck, and you want to come from as many angles as possible. You want to come from the anterior approach, from the lateral approach, and from the posterior approach on both sides of the patient's neck.